Hi, welcome again. Today, I want to talk about OpenLand's landscape decal feature and UE5. Now, we support UE5 fully, including the Mega Scram bridge available inside UE5. And if you don't know about landscape decal, I did a quite long video and you can check that in the description below. I'll give you a demo anyway. Here you can see some manholes located in my landscape, as well as there's a simple pathway. So basically these are not paint layers or static meshes. Here we painted this using landscape decal. For example, here we have this uh, manhole. I can scale it as I want. Also, I can move it anywhere I like. Also, I can make a duplicate by simply hitting alter and creating a copy. And if you go here, it's clearly not a static mesh. Just you can see it's printed on top of my landscape. It's quite big, but you, you can clearly see uh, it's painted on my landscape and it looks pretty nice. And also here we have a simple pathway or a part of the pathway. And here we run a noise over that. And that's why you can see some uh, grass grow on top of this pathway. I can show you. All right, this is the simple uh, decal and we have some fade on the edges. I can remove that as well. All right, this is it. And I can increase some fade on the both ends. X and Y axis and here I can drive some noise on top of this and then I can do a lot of cool things I can change how the grass amount also I can change the noise pattern I can change the position and you can do quite interesting things and the coolest thing is this is extremely performance friendly you can have as many as decals so basically the underlying feature is runtime virtual textures so we simply use that and you can have quite a lot of uh, landscape decals compared to paint layers. And the interesting thing is with landscape decals, you can bring a lot of details into your landscape without worrying about performance and it's quite easy to use as well. All right, let's see how we can use this feature. As I mentioned earlier, this is a feature part of the open land landscape material and tools and you can get it from the marketplace and check the description below. Also, if you are trying out and if you cannot afford this product and you can get it from GitHub and totally free for non-commercial purpose. All right, and let's get started. All right, now I'm inside a fresh landscape project. Here we are using open land as a landscape material and then go to edit project settings and search for virtual. And here under the virtual textures, we have an option called enable virtual texture support and check this button and the reason is we are using the unreal's runtime virtual texture functionality so in order to do that we need to enable this feature you will have to restart your project but wait and we have to check for a plugin as well go to edit plugins and search for editor scripting and here we have a plugin called editor scripting utilities and make sure to enable that now you can hit this button and restart your project all right, now I'm back in my project and now we have the virtual textures enabled. Then uh, we need to enable RVT support to this project and here's how to do that. Go to your content directory, open LAN and there's uh, another directory called widgets. Go into that and here we have widget called open LAN RVT widget. Right click on that and hit this button run editor utility widget. Here we have a button called add RVT support. Here this text is quite grayed out, that's totally fine. And make sure to select the landscape on your world outline and then hit this add RVT support button. Now then you will ask to do some steps over here, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. Hit the RVT volume height actor in your world outline. Go to the details panel under the virtual texture section and select the virtual texture as open land height texture and select the volume material and the world outline. And again, select the virtual texture as RVT open land material. And then you can close this widget and you can go to file and save all to save everything. And then select your landscape from the world outline. Now I'm gonna open our material instance, landscape material over here. And here in the details panel, search for RVT. And here we have option called use RVT cache and try to enable it. And sometimes it will crash like this. That's due to the nature of UE5. That's totally fine. I'm gonna restart this project. I'm gonna show you how to get this done. Here, I haven't opened my level, but I'm gonna go to the open land themes, default. And here, this is our default theme. If you're using something uh, different and try to open that one. And here, now search for RVT. And now enable this RVT cache checkbox. Then you can save this and you can close this. And now try to open your map. And sometimes it will looks like this. That's totally fine. Just play your game once. Everything will be fixed by that. 
Now you'll ask how we can get the CALs into Unreal Engine 5. Of course, you can import textures from any place you like, but since we're using a Quixel Mega Scans, we can easily get them inside Unreal Engine. You can go to Connect, Quixel Bridge, and here we have decals. You can try to go to subcategories and try to bring any decal. You can simply drag like this into your Unreal Engine 5 and that's all you have to do. Also, you can bring standard surface textures as well. You can use them for decals as well. All right, now I assume you have got some of those decals or surface texture into your project so we can work with them. Now let's try to add our first decal. I'm going to open my open land directory or inside the content directory, blueprints. Here we have a blueprint called landscape decal. Simply drag that into your scene. All right, then it will look something like this. And sometimes it get blurred like this. Just play your game once. Everything will be settled after that. Now let's try to add some decal. Now I'm going to use a manhole decal for this one. So here we, we are inside the mega scan directory decals. Here we have a round manhole. I'm going to use this. Then I'm going to go to the details panel of this landscape decal. Here we have the first one, textures. And here you can basically add base color, normal, roughness, and all other textures. But with UEFI Mega Scan Bridge, now we have for the decals for the DPRA pack texture. So it's a pack texture with uh, various maps like displacement and roughness and uh, alpha as a single texture. So in our texture type, we need to select UE5 Mega Scan Decal. And then we can bring our diffuse texture. You can see D as the base color. And then this is underscore N at the end. So this is our normal map. I'm gonna bring that as my normal map. And then at the end, we have the DPRA slot for the texture. I'm gonna bring this DPRA texture into that. Right, now you can see, now we have our decal like this. I think it's quite large here, yes. And we can reduce the size, right. I think this is quite open. And of course you need to make a copy. You can simply hit alter and simply drag this. And now you have a copy of this decal and you can keep as many as uh, copies you want. Now I'm going to add some grass in this landscape so we can try to hide grass on top of this decal. Here I'm going to use the open land grass, but you can use any sort of grass you have. So I'm going to open my open lands grass configuration file. It's on the open land grass. And here we have GTA underscore ground and here i'm gonna create a grass type grass variant and i'm gonna hit the density as maybe 200 and the grass mesh i know with open land grass we have the slender so grass type i'm gonna use that and then i'm gonna set the uh, min max as min one all right two at the max all right i'm gonna save this so now we have grass in my landscape it looks good but now the problem is i cannot see uh, my decal i'm gonna show you how to hide grass on top of this decal here, since I'm using open land, we have some easy way to do that. But if you're using some sort of other variant of grass, uh, we have a video on that. Uh, check the description below or somewhere on the screen so you can see how to hide grass on other grass types as well. Since we are using open land grass, we have some easy way to do that. So let's do that. Again, I'm going to content directory, open land, open land grass, blueprints. Here we have something called BP underscore open land grass manager. I'm going to drag that into my scene. And inside the world outline, I'm going to select that, go to the details panel. We have something at the bottom called RVT height grass intensity. I'm going to put that into one, right? So it's easy for this one, but it's also easy if you're using a custom grass type and it's not that uh, much work to do. Right now we have grass like this and yeah, it looks really nice. Now let's try to add another decal. In this time, we're going to use a surface texture rather than a specific decal. All right, again, I'm going to open land blueprints. I'm going to drag a decal into my scene like this. Here, I'm going to try to create a simple pathway. Then I'm going to go to my texture section on inside the details panel, and I'm going to select the texture type as UEFI Megascan surface. And the reason is again, with the UEFI Megascan textures, we have a pack texture called ORDP uh, for surfaces. So that's why we're going to select this. So now let's try to select a texture content make a scan surfaces and then we have a brick texture like here all right here again i'm going to drag underscore d texture as my base color and i'm going to bring the normal map underscore n right and then uh, we have the ordp texture and you can uh, put that into this slot ordp all right now i'm going to scale this texture like this and all right now i have a simple pathway like this here i have scaled my decal Likewise, the texture is also getting scaled, but that's not what we want for a pathway. In order to fix that, we have uh, something in the UV option inside these decals. Here we can set the UV source as the ground plane. Now it will have the textures 
like this and it won't scale the texture with the uh, decal size so that's what we want all right that's good now i'm gonna increase the tiling a little bit i think this is too little all right i have increased the tiling a little bit so i can play my game and try to see how it looks all right okay nice and again uh, if you need to change the rotation of this texture you can easily do that like this but in this case i don't want to do that now uh, there's a little bit of problem if i go high like this i can see some repetition on this texture that's totally fine we can easily fix that by adding some uh, variation offset i can increase this variation offset you can see all right it's changing also you can add some rotation variation but here i don't think it's good so instead of that i'm gonna change the scale influence a little bit so now we don't have a uh, much of repetition and it looks good now here we are using a pathway and uh, we have a uh, like a sharp edge over here but we don't like that so we can add some fading at the edge so here we have the option called edge opacity i'm gonna increase the edge opacity like this so now both end we have some opacity and that looks really cool now i'm gonna drive a noise on top of this decal so we can add more variation into this here we have a option called noise opacity i'm gonna increase that to one now you can see my grass is layered uh, on top of my decal as well but i can tune it I, if i need more less and you can easily tweak this uh, range value and get the feel you want also you can increase the uh, noise size then you have larger patches we have the seed option you can change the pattern as well yeah it's up to you now our simple uh, pathway is done it's not a complete road or a pathway but uh, it's uh, looking good yeah and yeah it's, it looks pretty nice now I assume with landscape decals you can bring more variations into your landscape and it's performance friendly and it's pretty easy to use and give it a try and I hope you will like it. Here I haven't shown you the old options we have with landscape decals. We made a different video for UE4 that's also apply for UEF5 as well and try to check the description for that video. See you soon with something interesting. Bye.